blood. Fresh. That's father's car. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Like it may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my... Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <coughs> no. <coughs> I'll have that sword, boy. Aye. You'll have it. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh. 
I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <sighs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. This might help. Hmm. 
Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. Uh Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. The Ironwood Grove. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel.